Okay guys, um, I know a lot of you guys have been asking me to do a new supplement review and I just finished this container and it'll explode. Now I just got a brand new container, uh, still sealed, of black powder I'm getting ready to try out. And uh, I'm going to try it out and let you guys know how it works. Just do that the easy way. Hmm. Here's my first scoop. Got it in there. It's a full scoop in there. Black powder. Um, I got the blue raspberry flavor. I'm getting ready to try it out. I'll tell you guys how it tastes and how I feel immediately after. And then after that, I'm going to come back and tell you if it, after I get done working out, and tell you how, uh, how it holds up to what it says it does. It says it gives you strength, intensity, stamina. Energy, size, recovery, focus, pumps, and power. So I'll let you guys know um, if that actually holds true. Um, this stuff has quite a bit of caffeine in it. Uh, 202 milligrams per scoop. So let's stir this stuff up and see how it tastes. Now everybody mixes their uh, pre-workout supplements different. I mix mine in a coffee cup with uh, bottled water, ice cold. I only put about two and a half to three ounces in there, if that. I always go down to about that line right there on there and stir it up. Um, it says to use 16, 8 to 16 ounces, which in my personal opinion is too much. Um, this stuff foams a lot more than the NO Explode does. Definitely has a different taste than the NO Explode. I had this the blue raspberry flavor as well. It says to drink immediately after adding water. I always like to let the foam settle down. And then I'll drink it. Well, I let it sit. Um, the foams went down. As you can see, I don't have a whole lot of water in there. Half of a small coffee cup full. And we're going to try it and see what it tastes like.
Oh, and there it is. The taste is a lot stronger than the Inno Explode. But it's sweeter as well. I would say blue raspberry versus blue raspberry. I definitely like the black powder's taste better. So now it's time to go work out and uh, see how this does. Oh, and another thing um, this black powder came up with this little booklet of uh, different training techniques and workouts and uh, different things like that. So for someone who's just getting started, the inexperienced lifter, Black Powder has a little workout for you. Um, they tell you what to stack it with. It has different uh, types of workouts. Um, basically like toning, strength training, power, um, bulking up. So... We'll see what happens. Hopefully this review isn't too boring for you guys. Um, I know a lot of you guys don't like my reviews, but there's quite a few people who do. Okay, well, after working out with the black powder for the first time, I really liked it. I enjoyed using it. Um, it gives you a better feeling than most other workout um, pre-workouts uh, give you, pre-workout powders rather. Um, the strength part, it does give you uh, more power and you can do more reps, but strength, I didn't see a big um, increase in strength. The intensity, um, my workout was more intense than working out without a pre-workout, but it wasn't any more intense than any of the other uh, powders. Um, stamina, I did last longer. Energy, it did give me plenty of energy. Um, size, I did have a good uh, pump at the end of it. Be quiet, Austria. Um, recovery time, I don't know that yet because this was my first time working out with that. Uh, focus, I was focused. Initially getting going, I had to get some motivation, but after I got started, I did have a lot of focus. Uh, pumps, we already talked about that, and power. Um, my power, it was just more determination when you're, you're lifting. Um, the overall flavor of it was good. Um, I would recommend this to a friend. So for anyone out there who's interested in black powder, I'd definitely try it. I like the blue raspberry, but I'm about burned out on it because I've used two tubs of NO Explode. That was uh, the, the blue raspberry, and this is blue raspberry as well. So um, next time I'm going to try a different flavor.